It's been nine years since Jay Solamaya's ex-boyfriend tried to kill her, stabbing her 37 times. The physical scars of the brutal attack have slowly healed, but the emotional ones are still raw. Like most victims of violence in Mexico, Jaisal's never received justice. Her aggressor still walks free. What guarantees do we have as women? Instead of the laws and the public servants protecting me, they protected him. In theory, Mexico has laws in place for the protection of female victims of violence. But enacting those laws in a corrupt and inherently male-dominated society is a different story. As a result, violence against women remains rife. Femicides have doubled in the last decade, and an average of 11 women are killed every day in the country. Faced with endless hurdles to justice, relatives often find other ways to honor their loved ones. Many families hire artists to paint their names and faces on city streets as a reminder of their tragic deaths. These are the final touches on Mariela Diaz's mural. She disappeared six years ago. Her sister is overseeing the artwork and hoping her country can move away from this terrible trend. La verdad es que es muy difícil confiar. It's very hard to have trust after what's happened to our family, but it's good to give a bit of confidence to the incoming government. We hope more attention is given to these cases, to this issue. We want to see commitment from our government. But many don't think Mexico can afford to just wait for legislators or even a female president to change things. The Hendes support group brings together men with violent pasts to try to help them to redefine what it means to be a man. In nightly meetings, they talk about accepting their violent behavior and, crucially, developing techniques to prevent any future outbursts. These men have at least taken the first step by recognizing they were part of the problem. The urgent challenge now is for the rest of Mexican society to stop normalizing violence against women and girls. Julia Galliano, Al Jazeera, Mexico City. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.